Now, the Jewish community here is watching the situation closely, fearing for their loved ones. News for Tara Lynch spoke with some former Western New Yorkers now living in Tel Aviv. Tara? Well, Don and Jackie, I spoke with several people who are from Western New York now living in Israel. They detailed the terrifying war their country is now in and say this is unlike anything they've ever experienced before. Jack Kamaker is a Western New York native who now lives in Bet Shemesh. He says people living along the southern Israeli border only have mere seconds to get to safety before a missile could hit their area and says they've lived in fear for years. These are images sent to us by Jack's son, Moshi, who says this street was hit by a Hamas rocket. He says he also knows people who were killed at the music festival in southern Israel on Saturday and has gone to funerals on consecutive days, including one friend who was at that festival where the attacks began. When the attack started, instead of fleeing, he decided to stay there and try to direct the forces that were the small amount of forces of police and security that were there who were in a match for terrorists with AK-47s. All they had were handguns. So he stayed there and directed the forces, made sure people got to safety, and in the process he was uh, shot and murdered. It's kind of like having, you know, people, terrorists in Grand Island, you know, they would shoot missiles. And, you know, the people living in Buffalo, they'd have 15 seconds to get to the shelter, you know, and or maybe less. And they even so, they would still shoot the Binghamton, the Syracuse, and Rochester. So if you're fortunate, you would live like in Syracuse, and you'd have 90 seconds. You'd think, wow, we have it easy. But if you live in Buffalo, you have to think twice. Moshe told me that he has many friends in the Army Reserves who are on the front lines, that's and that some people he years. knows went to the border as civilians to try and help where they could. Now, the Buffalo Jewish Federation, Jewish Community Center, and Jewish Family Services are providing assistance for Western New Yorkers and collecting donations to send to Israel. For more information on that, we have links to those organizations on our website under the Founded on 4 tab. For now in studio, Tara Lynch, News 4.